Alrighty, well I do have the little core support section cut out and I did weld some plates in there and I just used the flap wheel to kind of go around everything and make it all smooth looking. So what I need to do now is find a way to support the radiator and the intercooler and I think what I'm going to do is use this piece of flat stock here, cut it in half and then I'm going to have a vertical that bolts right to the radiator and then I'll have it Probably bend a 90 up at the top and then have it bolt in through the top here so it has vertical support. And then I'm going to use this other piece to bolt it into the side here and it'll probably come out and be like a 90 to bolt to this other piece. So let's get started on that. I'm just kind of winging this. I'm not really sure exactly how I want to do some of this. But that's my idea to get the radiator mounted and then I'll have to figure out how to do some of the intercooler stuff. I'll probably end up building some studs uh, or something off of the intercooler. I do still have this real thick piece of aluminum from doing the flange that I might be able to weld onto the intercooler and thread this so I have a, a mounting point. But I'll make it up as I go. We'll figure something out. So I'll bust out my bandsaw with the swag table on it. This thing works pretty good. I do a lot of cutting with this. This piece is 36 inches so I'll go to about a foot and a half here and scratch a little mark in. Doesn't need to be perfect. Alright, now we got two pieces. The idea here is that this will bolt on. I do have a little bit of room that I can bend the end of it up top to bolt in up here. That worked out pretty nice. And I kind of got to laugh at this piece because I wasn't trying to do this. So here's the piece in there with the 90s bent on each side of it. And I honestly wasn't even trying to make it fit in there like that. My plan was to just bend both ends and then cut it to length wherever it needed to be cut and then bolt it on and weld it to the vertical. But the piece with both ends bent just like that actually fits right in there perfectly. So that's funny, didn't even try it, but it actually worked out pretty nice. So I'll probably keep it like that, just for a little more stability, and then do the same thing. I could run a bolt through the bottom of this to bolt it to here, and then the way that I uh, cut the other piece was that the bottom bolt here is going to be used, and that should be a nice little, nice little bracket. Alright, so now I want to drill some holes. I did use uh, this little bracket and then marked where I wanted the holes drilled. Drilled a couple holes in these guys. And what I want to do now is drill those holes. The radiator out of here. And I'm going to use an M10 by one and a half thread. Ready for the wrist, wrist snapper 3000. I did weld in a pretty thick plate in here. I forget the exact size, but I want to say it was quarter inch. It's the same piece that I used for the motor mounts. I believe it's quarter inch. I just used the scrap that I had left over from that to fill in the, those sections with that plate. So that's kind of what those things look like. And then I'm just going to tap these holes. I bent over drilling holes, exactly what you came for. All right. Thank you. 
Alright, so we'll test the holes. Look pretty good. <clears throat> Actually, I have to go back to the store because these are like 125 threads, not one and a half. They're all in the same bin, but these are the finer threads, so I'm gonna have to exchange those. But these fit pretty good. All right, so I got this mocked up here. Looks pretty good fitting in there. I just used some random bolts out of the bin for now for that one, so I'll mock up the radiator and then see how that looks. I toss the radiator in before I put the top on. So then those other two pieces are going to bolt into these holes here. I did get a Allen head bolt with a finishing washer around it so it'll maybe look a little bit nicer. So that little guy there, that doesn't look so bad. little lock nuts on the bottom side and hopefully the bolt position is going to line up to the bottom of here where I can actually weld this on. <clears throat> this what I want to do is be able to mark it where I can cut it and then I want to weld these vertical pieces to the horizontal piece so it's kind of like one bracket that bolts into everything and then secures the, the top there. So that's what that bracket looks like. I do have the vertical pieces on top of the horizontal bracket, kind of resting there right now, and I would like to weld those onto that section. This vertical piece I did notch out a little bit for that weld going around the radiator, so I'll be able to smooth that up. And then underneath, just looks like that, kind of bends around and follows the support. So that should add a little bit of rigidity here and stabilize that. And then I can put some, maybe some rubber washers or something underneath there. You have space for the radiator cap and all that jazz. I did measure it, so it should be pretty close to center. I just measured four and a quarter from here to here, four and a quarter from here to here, and it comes out pretty good. I'll go ahead and make some markings here so I know where to weld it. And I feel like that should be pretty good. Should be a good foundation to kind of run off of this thing to go to the intercooler. What I think I'll do first is go get those bolts, finish welding this thing up, and then bolt it in there tight. See how it feels, like if there's anything loose or still flexible, and then I'll figure out how I want to mount that thing. Right, I'm a really good YouTuber, so I didn't film any of this, but I made these little blocks and threaded them, M8125, and then these are going to go on the intercooler here, and over here, and then also two on the bottom. And I'm going to come out something like this, and then just have a little mounting bracket, real simple. I might do a 90, I might bend this thing, or I might just weld it on straight, we'll see. this hanging there but I don't really like it so I think I'm gonna have to redo some parts of it. This hanger I think I'm gonna have to raise higher. I did kind of eyeball it and measure where I needed to put them and drew some lines and then welded those tabs on but the one is a little bit higher and then when I fully bolt this thing all the way up you can see there's a little gap there when I fully bolt it up all the way it, it's crooked so yeah it just looks a little funky. So I think I'm gonna pull the whole thing out I'll leave this tab on as a reference point because I I'm okay with where that one is, but I want to fix the rest of it and then get the radiator and intercooler level with each other. I'll pull it back apart. All right, well this looks a little bit better. This is turning out to be the longest creation of a video ever because I was just sick for three days and didn't really do anything. But I did come out today and got this thing kind of straightened out. It looks pretty level now if you look at the horizontal runs with the bumper. Lines up pretty decent. Top now lines up with the radiator, and I just have everything tacked in place now, so I'll pull it out and fully weld it. The radiator's a little bit off-center now, so I might take a little bit 
or off of this side and probably leave it where it is. But yeah, if you look at, compare the weld to this little guy here, and then this side here, that looks pretty straight. And then I got about one finger width there, and about one finger width here. Alright, so that's what it looks like with nothing in it. Just kind of mocked up in there. I'm not going to paint it tonight because I don't want to paint it in the garage, like since I did the floor and all that stuff. I used to just wing it and paint wherever, but I'm going to find a spot that I actually want to paint this thing that I'm not going to get overspray anywhere. On a scale of 1 to 7, I think I'd give it about a 3. I think I would have rather maybe bent it out a tube, but I don't have a tube bender small enough. When I did this one for the truck, I just used a Harbor Freight bender, but that's like a pipe bender, and I just did a little tiny bend in it, just to, enough that it wasn't going to kink. So I don't know, maybe that means it's time I need to get a bender. But next things I'll be working on is like trying to get the alternator mounted because i got to figure out the throttle body and alternator mounting on this one yet because the alternator is going to hit the intake. And I also picked up this Griffin's Performance 8.8 adapter. Griffin's Performance Volvo 240 8.8 rear end. Brackets. So that should work out pretty good and I'll pick up an 8.8 for it sometime. I believe this is the kind that Andrew Wordinger has. Uh, he has a green Volvo that's pretty popular on the sloppy page. And he sent me pictures of all that stuff and it looked really nice in there. So that should go in pretty well. So slowly but surely we're getting back at it. I'm having a hard time getting back in the groove since I was working on the greenhouse and then took some time off and was sick and stuff. Having a hard time getting back in the swing of things working on stuff. So, And it's winter here now and it's like below zero all the time and it's cold in the garage. Except unless I warm it up. So I'm just making excuses. But I'll try to do better guys. I'll, I'll be better next time.